Greetings, everybody. Uh, wanting to just capture some video here to document um, kind of the solidification of um, some better understanding of what some other potential features are of this early 80s prototype Tascam uh, 12 by 8 inline mixing console. Um, all of the outputs on this are unbalanced, um, switchable level, except for a pair of balanced outputs on the main stereo out. Um, this console features a semi-discrete uh, ultra high headroom line amplifier for the um, program, the eight program group outs and the four auxiliary bus outs and the stereo out. Um, it's powered by a bipolar 35 volt power supply, uh, which gives us uh, ultra high headroom and uh, but those outputs again are unbalanced across the 12 buses on the eight program groups and four aux buses on the input out the 12 input output modules um, but this is where i've always had some questions because if we look at the jack panel on the input output module we see the one XLR jack that's there, that's the microphone input, but we've got these two other blanks. Um, the, of course, the, the dress panel is not punched, but the chassis is punched. And you know what those holes look like? They look like uh, for on the right-hand side or on the bottom, that is a um, male XLR jack. Uh, no, wait, I'm sorry. That's a female XLR jack, like the mic jack right there. And then the other one that is to the right there of the mic jack, that is a uh, male XLR jack. I think this thing was designed with the possibility of having not only a balanced microphone input, but also a balanced um, bus out and a balanced line input. I haven't quite figured out everything with the balanced line input, but what I can tell you is this. This is the bus PCB. Um, this is the amplifier assembly for the program group output also has a meter switching on it. Um, and notice all of these vacant component sites. This right here, this uh, cluster, that is that uh, high headroom uh, semi-discrete line amp. And uh, that, as it sits on this board, that drives the bus out jacks um, on these modules. Unbalanced, um, minus 10, and then plus 4 dBU when you switch this high headroom amp into the circuit. So it's a signal booster, but it's semi discrete, it sounds nice, and it's got gobs of headroom. Uh, look at what we have here. Right? We have an identical uh, set of component sites, and that would give you a balanced line output. And this is exactly like the uh, boards that are, you can't really see, but down in the control module, the master section. Um, in fact, right. Right here there's one, and right here there's one. They're mounted just so. These are identical to the uh, stereo output driver boards in the Tascam M50. That's a 12 by 8 console that 
preceded the M500 series. The M50 is almost identical to the M512, uh, but there's some differences in the input-output section, uh, in the master section, and I believe the M50 um, has 60mm uh, faders, whereas the M500 series feature 100mm long throw faders. But the other big difference between the M50 and the M512 is that the stereo outs are switchable, um, I think it's minus 10 or plus 4 or plus 8 dBU balanced, and it uses these, uh, uh, these driver boards, which are those 35 volt bipolar powered semi discrete high headroom line amps. So anyway, that's kind of neat. I think, and I have to do some more research, but I could populate these uh, component sites and punch the uh, male XLR jack hole there and mount the jack, do some wiring, and this Tascam console, whereas most Tascam boards are considered unbalanced boards, unbalanced inputs and, and uh, unbalanced group outs, usually there's balanced stereo outs, but it looks like this console was set up with the capability to be converted to a fully balanced board with balanced line inputs, balanced line outputs, and balanced uh, mic input. As far as that balanced line input, I haven't quite figured all that out yet, but this, the other mass of unpopulated uh, component sites here, uh, I just spent a few minutes looking at it, and that section is isolated, uh, essentially isolated from the rest of this board. So it's an independent, it looks like it's just an independent uh, Plus minus 15 volt uh, minus 10 dBV uh, line driver with two inputs and two outputs. So I don't know if this takes. Uh, yeah, see, I didn't look at that. I, if it takes a you know single input. Uh, and then a dual output, uh, and if that's, or it takes two inputs, um, I don't know, it has two ins and two outs, so I'm not sure if somehow that's a part of a balanced line input or not. As it stands right now, um, the console has the mic input and two unbalanced line inputs, and on this board right here, that's where those amplifier stages reside. So anyway, more research to do on that one, but at any rate, there is there are two line driver channels here and the potential for another uh, female XLR jack on the back, which would make some sense if they were related. So I thought I would just capture that. Uh, sort of discovery of sorts. And just one more neat feature on this prototype Tascam console.